does eating brown rice promote weight loss? When it comes to weight loss, we all want a little hack to get us further towards our goals. Most often you're gonna hear your friends and colleagues tell you that I've heard something on the radio or I've read this article that says you should do X, Y, Z that gets you a little bit more fat loss. One of the notable comparisons is white rice versus brown rice. Does it actually make a difference if you eat one or the other in terms of fat loss? Well, so I had a look at a few studies and I found one that is quite a interesting study done in 2013. In this study, they had two studies within the one study with a total of 38 participants. In the second study, participants ate brown rice for eight weeks and then switched to white rice for eight weeks. The results showed that after eight weeks of brown rice consumption, they lost body weight and then they switched to white rice for another eight weeks and they had returned back to baseline in terms of their body weight. Now from this study, you might assume that white rice is gonna be no good for fat loss and you should start eating brown rice right now. This is how news headlines persuade you into adopting this new trend. But it's only when you read the entire study that you realize there are a lot of caveats to what they say in the headline. When you read the study carefully, you'll see there are many limitations to each study that get you that extra step. Now, there are definitely several limitations in this study. Firstly, the sample size was way too small to draw any conclusion. Secondly, the study couldn't really come to a conclusion on what caused the weight loss. This is because researchers were unable to determine other factors such as exercise habits, other foods being eaten with the brown rice or white rice and a whole host of other factors that they have not accounted for. They didn't regulate daily physical activity. They didn't have a regular menu of items that they ate throughout the day. That could all change the results. Additionally, that study was over 10 years old now and not much further research has been done on the topic. So this is how I determine whether these headlines can be true or mislead you. I wanna use my own judgment. And if we look at brown rice versus white rice, we look at the calories in calories out model. White rice is claimed to have 206 calories in one cup, whereas brown rice has 216 calories in one cup. Now, if you ate one cup of rice every single day for seven days, you would have an additional 70 calories if you were to just eat brown rice. If we're looking at this from a weight loss perspective, this will not be ideal. You are eating more calories than white rice. But in the grand scheme of things, 70 calories is very negligible. You can easily burn that off with some regular physical activity. In the study, they spoke about GI levels and brown rice has lower GI which stands for glucose index, meaning after you eat the brown rice, your glucose does not spike as high as white rice. This assumes that you'll have better satiety. You won't be as hungry after eating brown rice. So therefore, brown rice will cause you to eat less after your meal. In the study, it also mentioned that this is one of the limitations. They had subjects rate their fullness level. And with surveys, they're always very subjective and they couldn't accurately determine the hunger levels of each participant. Now, with everything considered, ultimately, these aren't big factors that will impact your fat loss journey. What really matters is your lifestyle, your approach to exercise, your approach to diet and nutrition. Those are the main players that are gonna drive your fat loss goals. Just by eating one certain type of food is not necessarily gonna achieve you huge results. So in conclusion, brown rice and white rice which should you eat? Personally, for me, it doesn't matter. It's more so how you eat. Do you combine your rice with high protein sides, meat, fish, beef, lamb, and do you combine with vegetables, fruits? Jumping on the latest fad and trends are not gonna get you the weight loss that you want. At the end of the day, nothing beats consistency in the gym, consistency with your nutrition over a long period of time. And a lot of people don't have the patience, but I guarantee you, if you stick to this, if you stick to a plan for six months to a year, you're gonna notice how far you've come in your progress.